welcome to another video by The Goalkeeper. Okay, so we got a ton of uh, pickups to go through, so some of them are just, just going to be kind of rapid fire, showing them. Um, some I have a little bit more to talk about, some I have never seen, and I don't have much to say. Some I just don't like, period, so I don't have to say much about them. But I bought them anyways, because whoa! Because in the end, again, <laughs> we're going for a complete collection here is my goal. I'll probably never hit it, but uh, yeah, let's do that. First one we got Scream. Uh, I love Scream. I think most people love Scream. Great movie. I feel like uh, this is one that, if you're going to have any kind of horror collection, you kind of need to have it. Next. Nightmare on Elm Street. I was very happy to find this. Um, it's mastered at high definition. For VHS, I guess. Um, <laughs> the cover is really cool. Um, to, again, it's another classic one you need to find. I found this at Goodwill. No. I found this at Savers in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Um, Savers, I found a ton of good stuff there. Um, yeah, so Midnight on Street, again, another one you just need to have in your collection. Alien Resurrection. You don't need to have this in your collection at all. It's not a great movie. Um, I find enjoyment out of it. The Alien series is like my favorite series in all of film in general, I guess. Like, I love Alien. Alien is my favorite two movies, tops of all time. Um, and this is not a good Alien movie. It's not. But... For popcorn fun, it's fine, you know? I like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a shit movie, but I enjoy it. I think we all have stuff like that. And going on with the Alien, uh, but anyway, Alien 3. Um, I was hoping this was going to be... I guess I don't know if they released it. There's like a director's cut um, that I thought was much better. Well, not much better, but it was better. Um, I don't know if that was ever released on VHS, but I found this. And I had to pick it up, and it was like, what is this, 75 cents on here, so like, of course. And I love Alien, I love Alien so much, and actually, I do find some enjoyment out of this. Again, it's like Alien Resurrection, it's not a good Alien movie to me, but I like it. Um, it doesn't feel like an Alien movie that much, for some reason. Whether, you know, there's the Xenomorph, and it's a Gary Weaver, all that. Um, but it doesn't feel like an Alien movie. But uh, I, still I still find enjoyment in it, um, so... Yeah. The Lost Boys, again, classic. Uh, so we're on a pretty good roll, I guess, from movies I like. There are some duds in here, trust me. Um, the Lost Boys, again, classic. If you're going to have a horror collection, you need to have The Lost Boys. It's one of my favorite vampire movies of all time. Gotta get it. The one I'm not so proud of, I guess, uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake. Yeah, I love, I like the original a lot more. This one had some fun stuff, I guess, in it, but I don't necessarily enjoy it. But again, I'm going for the collection here, so we're picking up everything <laughs> at the moment. Uh, the Sixth Sense. Uh, so, is it horror? Yeah, it's, it's debatable. Let's say it's more of a thriller, but it's still a really good movie. It's still on VHS. There's still some scary moments in here, so I picked it up. Is it, a, is it an essential to a horror collection? I don't think so. We're going to have a bunch of these. We, Star Trek Insurrection. So here's the deal with Star Trek. I'm not really a Star Trek guy. Like, I didn't watch the show. I've tried watching it. I can't get into the show. I did watch the, uh, I'll get some flack for this. I did watch the remake, or the reboot of Star Trek um, that J.J. Abrams did. And I liked the first one a lot. I was like, maybe I can get into the Star Trek thing. So then I watched Star Trek Wrath of Khan, the original, and I, uh, I loved it. I loved it so much. So... That was actually the first Star Trek BJs I bought, and we'll get to it later. I have it in this collection, but uh, so I just decided maybe the old ones aren't good, so maybe I'll get into it through the movies instead of the show. So I picked up a bunch of the Star Trek movies on VHS, so if it's a Star Trek Insurrection, I've never seen it. Uh, I plan to watch it soon, though. Maybe I'll do a Star Trek VHS uh, movie video or something. I don't know. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason, so another Freddy Krueger movie. Uh, this is my first Jason movie in VHS. I was hoping to find uh, Jason the Final Chapter, or Friday the 13th Final Chapter. I did not find it. I liked that one. It was the first one I saw when I was a little kid, actually, because I had it, I happened to have it in VHS when I was a kid. And that was the first one I saw, so I have like, a soft spot for Final Chapters. Hoping to find it, didn't. So yeah, Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, it's fine. It's okay. There's some cool stuff, there's some bad stuff. 
Now for a shit one. Hollow Man, Kevin Bacon. Do you need this? No, you don't need it. It's a piece of crap movie, but again, full collection. Arachnophobia. I love this movie. It's hilarious. It's freaky. Well, if you don't like spiders, at least it's freaky. Uh, yeah, Jeff Daniels is in it. I mean, I don't know what else you need. <laughs> it's fantastic. If you haven't seen Arachnophobia and you're looking for a good horror comedy or thriller comedy or whatever, go pick this up. It's a really, really underrated film. But it's really good. This one's called In Dreams. I've never seen it or even heard of it. But I picked it up. I think this was at... I think this was also at Savers and Goodwill. I got a big haul from Savers and St. Cloud. Um, Annette Bening's in it. Aiden Quinn, Stephen Ree, and Robert Downey Jr. That's probably mirrored, I guess. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. I don't really know what it's about. There's something about a serial killer coming to some town and it's haunting her dreams or something. I don't know. I haven't watched it. Star Trek The Voyage Home. Again, picked up a shit ton of these Star Trek movies, so I uh, haven't seen this one yet. The only one I've seen are like the older Star Trek films was Wrath of Khan. So, uh, yeah. Again, I think, I think I'll probably do a Star Trek uh, movie video once I've watched all of them and got all of them. But I'm not even sure if I have the full collection yet. Yeah, we got Star Trek The Final Frontier. Another one. Another one. Star Trek First Contact. Still haven't seen it. Okay, so uh, I was going through and uh, editing this video and I realized at some point my audio got all messed up or something. So, um, yeah, we lost some of the footage because the audio was messed up, but it's all fixed now. So we're going to continue. Uh, yeah, so that's why everything looks a little different. Anyways underrated hidden gem Valentine I watched this with my cousin Travis a long time as a kid uh, a lot of people bring it up as an underrated thing and it really is like there's always there was one scene in it with like chocolates and uh, there's maggots in the chocolates and that scene always kind of stuck with me um, the serial killer is like this weird cherub mask it's kind of on the cover you can see that if you haven't seen it it's definitely like a hidden gem for sure all right now these two um, just real quick I got some Mad Max ones World Warrior and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I've never seen either of these, but I like the original Mad Max a lot, so I just figured I'd pick him up. Wrath of Khan. This one I was really excited about, because if you glance it real quick, it says The Fly, right? The Fly, because it came in a case like this, then I saw a fly. But what I didn't realize, it's right there. Fox. Fox Racing. This is a fucking dirt bike VHS. Like, like race, like ATV and motocross and stuff like that really upset and uh, actually in the original video uh, when we lost the audio when I first recorded this I legitimately had no idea so you found out as I was doing this that this is not the actual fly the David Cronenberg fly was the thing I thought I had so my reaction was on camera and I thought it was really funny uh, but you know I didn't want to reenact that because it's not natural but it really sucks we lost the audio on the last video halfway through for some reason because I thought it was just a fun, natural reaction that I totally got that mixed up. But again, so I'm just telling you the story. I don't want to reenact it. It's not, it's not uh, natural. You know, it's not right. It's not. I can't think of the word right now. Hide and seek. I saw this when it first came out. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but it's kind of a thriller, a little kind of mystery thriller. This is not the moon. This is a sticker. It won't come off. Scream two. Um, I, th I think I've seen this one. I don't. I honestly don't remember I've seen it. And if I have, it's been so long. And I was a child, so I can't really comment on it. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing some reviews on this channel in the future, like um, some like all the Scream movies. We'll look at those. I want to look at all the Star Treks we have. Obviously, we're gonna do stuff like Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, stuff like that. So we'll get to Scream eventually. But I'm glad I have it. Um, I think the last, I think the only other Scream movie is Scream 3 is on VHS actually, I believe. Um, but we will do the whole franchise, of course. But, uh, I think Scream 3 was the last one released on VHS, so two-thirds of the way there on the full VHS collection of Scream at least. I still don't know what you did last summer. I, I don't know. Some of these I don't know what to say about, I mean... I've seen this one as well, and I remember I thought I thinking it was alright, but it's, I don't know. Some people really love those movies. I'm not that way, but it's fine. 
Terminator 2 is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, not a horror one, obviously, but just one I really liked. I mean, obviously the goal here is to get in a, a complete horror collection. But, you know, if I see movies I like, I'm not going to pass it up just because I'm going for horror only. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Terminator 2, Judgment Day is probably the best sequel up there with Aliens of all time. Not a horror one. Willow. Um, Warwick Davis played Leprechaun. Val Kilmer from uh, Batman Forever. <laughs> um, yeah, this is an awesome movie. It, it's a fantasy movie. You can probably tell by the cover. It looks really kiddish. But it's actually kind of terrifying. Um, there's trolls in this movie. There's like a big, I think like a Hydra type dragon thing in here. There's these weird like demon boars running around. Like it's really creepy. Um, it's really funny. It's really creepy. The special effects are really cool. A lot of stop motion like stuff. Like, I don't know. There's just really, really cool stuff in here. Um, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's. Not a, lot, not a lot of people even heard of this movie before, but if you have not seen Willow and you're into fantasy movies and uh, special effects and stuff, definitely check it out. I highly recommend Willow. Stephen King's It. Um, the miniseries, obviously, from the 90s. Um, I really love this one. Um, not just because of, you know, the clown, but I, I legitimately think this is a really good movie all the way through, especially if you take into... Uh, take into consideration it's made for tv you know it didn't have like a film budget it was made for tv because they obviously had restrictions of what they could show on tv as well and i think for the restrictions they had and for the money they had the budget i think it turned out really really well obviously the ending is a little poorly received and uh, i agree with it the ending was kind of mm -hmm. but uh you know you, you know you did what you could and uh I like this better than the new one, actually. I actually am not a fan of the new one. Spawn, not a horror, but I like it. Special effects suck, don't hold up, but I don't know. I just felt like I needed this. I loved it when I was a kid, so. This one's really, I'm really excited about. It's called Devil B Devil Bat with uh, Bella Lugosi. It's about a giant devil bat, from, from what I understand. And obviously Bella Lugosi's in it, so that's really cool. I've never heard of it, but uh, it's only an hour and nine minutes long. It is in black and white. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it could be kind of cool, kind of weird. Next is Wishmaster. Um, there's a bunch of these now. I think there's five or six of them or something. I'm not sure how many of VHS, but uh, you know, this movie gets shit on a lot. But when I was little, it terrified me. Um, I actually couldn't even fully finish it until about two years ago or something, I finally got up the courage to watch the entire thing again. Whoa, this lighting's crazy. Sorry, we got one of those shiny plastic things on it. Um, I think the special effects are really good in this. There's tons of dudes in here from like horror. I think Kane Hodder's in it. Robert Englund's in it. Tony Todd's in it from Candyman. Um, yeah, it's a Wes Craven film. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like Now that I've gotten over my fear of it from being like traumatized as a child, I really think it's, I think it's really solid. Uh, Wishmaster 2 I, I actually kind of like as well. Um, I haven't seen any other than those two, but I know there's a bunch of them, and they, I know they get really weird. There's like, it's like angels and like, heaven swords and stuff like that. Like it gets really fucking weird, but uh, Wishmaster's really cool. Terminator. I had Terminator 2. I had to get Terminator. They were right next to each other. Got them. It was cheap. Terminator rocks. Awesome movie. When James Cameron was a good director still. And last, House on Haunted Hill. Um, this is one I'm kind of... This along with stuff like Hollow Man and Ghost Ship. And uh, I know what you still don't know what you did last summer. Some of the ones that like I picked up. And these are the ones that I, I, I regret having to get. Kind of. You know, this is, I don't want to spend money on these bad movies. But if, if we're going for the full collection, we got to have everything. Um, the original House on Haunted Hill uh, with uh, Vincent Price is really good. I really love that movie. Um, and even as a kid, this is one of the first movies that I saw when I was a kid and I understood that it was bad. You know, when you're a kid, everything's kind of good. No matter how terrible it is, you just kind of enjoy it. You don't really know that things are bad or good really necessarily, except for food. But like movies, you just kind of accept them. They're like, oh, it's a movie. But uh, this is one I watched when I was a kid. I'm like, yeah, that's terrible. This is a bad movie. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I 
if I have anything good to say about it is that uh, I think Jeffrey Rush did a really good job as the Vincent Price character um, and that's about where my praise ends for this movie um, evil loves to party I hate that tag uh, subscribe I've been the gore keeper subscribe comment like tell your friends if you like horror let's watch some horror I don't know see you guys <laughs>